but there was Did anybody get to ask a single question? Well, that's not what a citizen hearing actually is. For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. like you're pretty believing of the federal claims that they're going to reduce emissions by a certain amount with their plan. If you believe the feds, I gotta wonder, if, did you believe them in the 90s with their clean air legislation? And then what happened with MTBE? Are you familiar with what happened the last time they tried to do clean air legislation, how it polluted the lakes, according to 60 Minutes? Do you care? Does history matter to you? Are you just going to keep sucking my tax money for no good reason? It's not you. <laughs> Messenger, but you're the one I heard it from. Well, what was this about the the people not being able to speak? The the, um, the average people that signed up to speak didn't get to speak today, or to ask questions. We took as many people as we could, and we encourage everyone to still make a comment, and we want to help facilitate that. Um, and so we have other means, and we left people and had discussions with people about how they can follow up. But there was. Did anybody get to ask a single question? Well, that's not what a citizen hearing actually is. People just make statements. Um, it would have been awesome to have time for a question and answer, and that was originally in the lineup, and we would have loved to keep it. But just in the interest of having everyone make statements, we weren't able to do it. And I have to go, but thank you. And uh, have can I have your name? Your name, please. Not, not transparent without a name. It's a closed society without names. I don't have any issues with transparency. My name is Betsy Kinsey, and I work for Environment New Hampshire. Thanks, Ms. Kinsey. I appreciate it. You take care. All right, so since you're specifically advocating a plan, which I would have to pay for, i got to ask, have you read the plan, the EPA plan? No. How can you advocate it if you haven't read it? 400 pages long. I went to Harvard Business School. I've read it. And when you go to Harvard Business School, you learn how to go through things and quickly correct information. I've read the highlights. I know basically what it says, and that's why I have time to write to the president and call my senator and congressman and live a pretty normal life in addition to everything else. Have you actually tried to take a look at it and just read part of it even? I've seen it online. I looked at the president's climate action plan online, in fact, just the other day. I mean, I'm really not doing much better than you. I'm not in a position to throw stones because I've only read parts of it, but I couldn't understand a word of it, so I could never be for it. How can you? I could understand it, and I understood the summary given here. It was pretty simple. Um, 400 pages, 600 and some odd pages of simple? You learn, as I said, to go through things quickly. It's a complicated world, and the only way we can deal is if we learn how to read quickly and get the main points from things. All right. I appreciate you at least answering my questions. Not everybody does. Pleasure. Thanks. What is this for? It's Dave Ridley. It's Ridley Report. About a year ago. Okay. Yeah.
lrn.fm, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.